welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool. I am right on the edge of Blackpool here. Here's a welcome sign. I'm at Stargate and in this video I'm going to be taking it on a tram ride all the way from here to Fleetwood. This is my tram here. It's the big pink one. Let's get on it shall we? Yes, I am here in Blackpool. We're looking towards St Anne's over there. That's Squires Gate Lane, the border between Blackpool and St Anne's. Anyway, like I said in this video, I'm going to be taking on a tram ride and it looks like we're getting on this pink one here all the way to Fleetwood. Let's get on it, shall we? Okay, so we are now on the tram and we're just going past the tram station there. You can see the tram station. In this video, I'm only going to be looking out towards the west, towards the seaward direction in this video. If you want to see the other direction, you'll have to look at part two to this video where I'll be coming back from Fleetwood to Stargate. Yeah. Yeah, so here we go, all the way from Stargate, the border with St Anne's, all the way up to Fleetwood. It's a bit of a breezy day today. Look at those clouds, aren't they amazing? Absolutely amazing clouds. We had a thunderstorm yesterday. So, like I said in this video, we're looking towards the seaward direction. And I'll try and point out all the stuff that we can see along the way. This is South Pro New South Promenade that we're looking at now. And you'll be able to see some of the artworks very soon that they have along this section of the promenade. The first one we've got there, you can probably just see the top of it, is Frankenstein. That it's like a diving chamber there, yeah, on part where you couldn't, couldn't really see it because we're low down. The promenade is a bit high up. There's another one there, um, like a blue sort of mural thing yeah, it's made, made of steel. So we're moving along now. Harrow Place. So we're now just going past the solarium behind me. You can see that in the, the next video where I'll be looking the other way. But on this side, look out for the mirror ball now. Here we are, the giant mirror ball coming up now. There it is. The world's largest mirror ball, or the UK's largest mirror ball at least anyway. All refurbished last year that, yeah. So here we go. We're moving again all the way to Fleetwood on the Blackpool track. Now I wasn't sure how long it's going to take. I think it takes, uh, you'll know by the length of the video, but as I'm filming this right now, I wasn't, that's Frankenstein by right? that was we just got past Frankenstein there. Two big massive slabs of steel. Yeah, I think it takes just under an hour to get there. We're making our way along now. We've just gone past the Hampton by Hilton Hotel. So watch the Fleetwood to Stargate video to see the other way. We're now at Burlington Road West. We're getting close to the Pleasure Beach on behind me. Starting to fill up this tram now. It's, uh, it's half past ten on a Sunday morning when I'm filming this. So we're going all the way to Fleetwood. I've never done this before, by the way. I've never been all the way. In fact, I've never boarded a tram at Stargate before, so there you go. We're going all the way to Fleetwood. On the Black Gulfman. Start to see a little bit more as we get along. At the moment we're looking at the promenade which is built up quite a bit. So apart from 
some of the artworks it's a bit difficult to see that much at the moment but stick with us because we will see a lot more as we get towards the Golden Mile. We're just going past the Pleasure Beach behind me and like I said if you want to see the other side watch the Fleetwood to Stargate video, the second part of this video to see the other side. But I thought in this video I'll just film this way. So this is a car park we're looking towards now, a big car park there where you can park for the Pleasure Beach. There, and they've also got uh, this is the turnaround. See, this is where the trams turn around, the heritage trams. They turn around here. Yeah, that's Desire there, or it was. Was it? No, no, no. Sorry, that um, that thing there is like a video display. I think it's called, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Lawrence Lavelle in Bowie named it. The, uh, they refurbished that last year actually. Anyway, as you can see, we're, we're now at the Pleasure Beach. We've got the Pleasure Beach behind us and in front of us you can see the Sandcastle. So that's the Sandcastle, that's where the Blackpool open air baths used to be. Right here, yeah, the open air baths they used to have. Miss World or Miss UK competition at these open air baths here. Please. And the Tank Castle was built after they demolished the Derby Baths, of course. So if you remember the Derby Baths, the, um, the, the, the Derby Baths were demolished so that they could build this building here, the Tank Castle. There's also got a casino there, the Grosvenor Casino, it's quite fun to that casino. They used to have a go-kart track just here, kart in 2000, but uh, they're not there anymore. So there's a massive space there, can you throw space next to the South Pier? Yeah, so we've just gone past the Velvet Coastal Weather Springs behind me, and now this is the South Pier. There's the South Pier for you. Um, building there. It's like a laser light show music thing. They have like um, displays on. It's, it's very loud. You know during the illuminations they have that on and uh, yeah it's uh, it's really loud. So there you go. I've got the Pablo's behind me. Pablo's ice cream and fish and chips. We're at Station Road. You can see that on the next video, of course. Well, here we go, we're off again. Well, look at those clouds, aren't they amazing? There's clouds lately. Like I said, we had thunderstorms yesterday. I've just seen an advert there for the air show, Blackpool Air Show. We've got the Red Arrows coming later this year. We've got two displays by the Red Arrows. So look at that now, we can see out towards the Irish Sea there looks absolutely amazing. Those clouds look awesome, don't they? Yeah. And we've got these massive lawns here. Can you remember what the promenade used to be like before the before it was all redone with the new sea wall? Can you remember what it was like here? I can't. I know there used to be a windmill here. Do you remember the windmill that was opposite Waterloo Road? Yeah, there used to be a windmill here, a little windmill. It wasn't a proper windmill, it was a just a, a made up one but um, it was lit up during the illuminations yeah We've got the Dutton Arms pub just behind me and Notary Armies of course at Waterloo Road it's very famous okay so we're off again like I said we've got Waterloo Road behind me Fleetwood Ferry, that's where I'm going. All the way just behind me I've got the Yates's, Yates's South Shore which is closed, it's still closed. Don't forget you can see that on the next video, you can see all the other side on the next video. But this one, on this video we're just looking out this way. And the tide's in, it's looking really rough out there actually. I wouldn't want to be out there today. Yeah, 
especially seeing as it looks really stormy but there's a few people out look there's a few people out and about on the promenade it's very breezy we've got winds gusting to gale force today yeah yeah it's a big dog Fred Siegel's early St Chad's Road now I did a video on the St Chad's Hotel which is right behind me look. and um, it's actually closed down and what they want to do is they want to uh, they want to knock the hotel down and just build an all new hotel yeah St Chad's Hotel yeah so there you go we could be having an all new hotel on Blackpool Promenade an all new no, don't call it the St Chad's Hotel oh we'll have to wait and see won't we but here we go, we're off again now, on the way to Fleetwood, on the Blackpool Crown. There's a flag flying over there, look. Seaside Award 2022 for clean beaches, yeah? The Blackpool has got clean beaches, and we've got an award for it. The next stop is Manchester Square, and that's where the treatment works is. We're just going past the Lindeen Hotel behind us. Very popular hotel here in Blackpool. Trams every 15 minutes. Today. Next stop is Manchester Square. Those things that you can see sticking up there, those are called venting blades, and those are the, uh, the, the outlets for this treatment works here. There used to be like a black and white tower thing, like a, a chimney, you know, like um, to vent the fumes from the treatment works, yeah. So that's what those are for, they're very fancy, they light up at night, they're called venting blades, yeah. So we're now at Manchester Square. Okay, we're off again. And the next thing we're going to see on looking this way is going to be the central pier coming up to the central pier now the tram's getting really busy now you know now that we've got to the the main part of the promenade it's really filling up there's loads of people on here now yeah so you can just see the central pier now up there and the big wheel they've got the big wheel up now it was a way for refurbishment for about six probably more than six months actually, there you go, the central pier. And when they made the new promenade, or the new sea wall should I say, they made the promenade a whole lot bigger, a lot more, there's a lot more, you know, room here, certainly around the piers. So there you go, that was the central pier. Yeah. Central pier. So there you go, that was the central pier and we're now off again on the way to Fleetwood. There's a little bit of rain, it could just land on the window here, I'll try and see if I can adjust the camera a little bit just in case that rain gets in the way. We're just going past the seed pod things here, those things that blow in the wind. Yeah, you can see those. This is the RNLI station here. 
That used to be next to the central pier, by the way, the RNLR, yeah, that's where the ramp used to be. But that's a new one there. We train every Wednesday, if you want to see them. Come out here on a Wednesday, you might just catch them training. Oh, we're now at the tower. Well, we can't see it in this video, but if you look at the next one, Fleetwood to Stargate, you can see the tower on that one. When they come back later. A few people are getting up here at the tower, of course. That's hard work, this. I'm worried about that thing as well, that thing wobbling. Okay, here we go again. If you just hold that a second. <laughs> Again now. There we go. We're just going past the tower headland now. This was all constructed with the new sea wall and with the with the having concerts and of course we've got the comedy carpet there. You know that was part of the, the plan to have the comedy carpet and to also have concerts and all sorts of other events here. We have the Christmas markets here now. So that bit of land in front of the bit of the promenade in front of the tower was all extended there, especially so that they can have those events. There's a beach house, the beach house bistro, very upmarket, fine dining and drinks in there. Yeah. yeah so if you fancy something a bit more upmarket, you can go to the the beach house. Now see the north pier. They've also got the bloom bar, which I've done a video on. Yeah, the bloom bar at the end of the north pier. Some nice views down there. There you go. There's the north pier. The north pier is my favourite pier. Tell you what, there's something going on here at the cenotaph. Look at this. Wow, look at this. There's something going on here. This is the cenotaph, of course, the war memorial, and uh, there's a big event going on here. I'm not sure what it is. It's uh, obviously some old veterans uh, are marching with the flags. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah. Look at this. Wow, this is a massive event. There's loads of people watching. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Press the stop button when you wish to exit the tram. Yeah, so there you go, the cenotaph. There's a big event going on there with the, the military and the veterans. There you go, look at that. I wasn't really expecting to see that, but there you go. And now we're just going past the Metropole. This is the Metropole Hotel here, now we're going past out. It's the only hotel that's actually on Blackpool Promenade, yeah? The Metropole Hotel. That was the Metropole. Just down there is like a sunken garden with a, a little crazy golf course which you can go on. So we're now sort of going uphill now. There's the Coast Guard there doing the patrol. You can see the North Pier over there on the left side. We're going high up now. Blackpool Promenade does go up and down a bit. You know, a lot of people probably don't realise that. Uh, it looks fairly flat, you know, but it does, you know. We're going uphill now, and we're quite high up above the sea now. This is where I like to come to look at the views because you do seem to see a bit more from up this way. There's nothing to block your view, you see. 
then when you're on the golden man you've got the piers in the way and you're a bit lower down but this is where I like to come to look at the views of Lake District and Wales and things like that you can see all of them up here now this stop is Pleasant Street we're just opposite the Claremont Hotel the Claremont Hotel Yeah, and we're now going past these magnificent. Um, you see these these like bays here; they're amazing. These are the colonnades that go down to Middle Walk. So we've got Middle Walk down here, and we've got these magnificent colonnade structure, these like columns. And you see these these bays here that, that go out. This is where you can get you can you can get a great panorama of the the Irish Sea, you can get to see Wales and please. the Lake District and you're a lot higher up here than you are on the Golden Mile so that's why I think you're much better off the coming to this part of the, the promenade if you want to see the views of the Lake District and things like that or even the Isle of Man you know I've seen the Isle of Man from here many times and you're just a little bit higher up it just makes it easier to see we've just gone past the Imperial Hotel and now we're going past the Grand Hotel that used to be the Hilton behind me. You can watch the return journey to see those. But we're now coming down to Gin Square. Yeah, Gin Square. On our way to Fleetwood. <coughs> so we're coming down now. This Gin Square is quite low down. We're now just coming to the end of this part of the promenade where we have this colonnade structure so the promenade is on three levels we're on the top level here and we've got middle walk and we've also got lower walk where you get people fishing down there on lower walk three levels of promenade here coming down the hill now have to go a bit slow down here Hole in the Wall Cafe. Have you been to the Hole in the Wall Cafe? It's just down there. Yeah, you can see a sign for it. There's some steps down there, can you see? There's some steps that take you down to the Hole in the Wall Cafe. We're just going past a memorial now to the police officers there. You see that there? That's a memorial to the three police officers that were killed trying to rescue a man and his dog. I think that was in 1986 or something like that. Jubilee Gardens. This is Jubilee Gardens. We've just gone past the Savoy Hotel. We're now going past the Cliffs. We're now going past the Cliffs Hotel. Because these are the cliffs in Blackpool. Cliffs Hotel. They are actual cliffs. Yeah, we're, we're, we are high up now, we are, we are high up. Yeah. Hold tight please. <coughs> Press the stop button when you wish to exit the track. Okay, we're off again. And We're now going past the Royal Boston Hotel and the Elgin. The Elgin Hotel, yeah, so we're, we're, we're at the cliffs now, we're pretty high up. This is probably, we're coming up to the cabin lift. There's a building that you're about to see in a minute, it's called the cabin lift, it's Victorian. And it used to take you down to the lower promenade. Of course it's not. Uncle Tom's cabin, of course, that's where we are now. It's not Uncle Tom's cabin anymore, it's Mark Ellis. Well, that's where we are now. And we were about to see the cabin lift, which hasn't been used for, well, decades, I'd say. Yeah. Press 
stop button when you wish to exit the train. Okay. <laughs> So there you go, that's a cabin lift there. Yeah, not been used for a long time. Yeah, the cabin lift. Yeah, I like to go there quite often because you get you high up and you get to see a good view all round. Great views of the Lake District from up here. You're a little bit higher up and you've got nothing to obstruct you like the piers or anything like that. So this is a great part of the promenade to come along if you want to get the views. Now, can you see all this fencing they've got here and these poles? These are all for the tableau illuminations. They've pulled all the poles up now, see this now? They're going to be putting those displays up, but they won't be putting up the red Indians because someone had a moan about the red Indian display and uh, they won't be putting those up anymore. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. It only takes one person, doesn't it, you know? So there you go. All these poles here. We've got some fancy shelters, haven't we? Fancy shelters. Yeah, it's, it's very uh, up and down this part of the promenade, as you can see. It's very popular for people to ride bikes as well, up and down here. It's uh, a great place to ride bikes. Just going past the miners' home, which you can see on the next, on the on the way back. You can see that on the way back. Very, very popular part of the eliminations this section here because you can walk around it. You can get out of your car and walk around this part here. We're almost up to Red Bank Road. A major stop on the tram route. And Red Bank Road, of course, is the end of the eliminations for most people because most people will start the eliminations at Stargate where we started and they'll finish here and you'll go and get your fish and chips you'll go to the Bispen kitchen or you'll go to the top ship here or any other place it's very very busy up here during the eliminations hold tight I'm trying to hold tight when you wish to exit the Okay, so this is Bisbon. Ice cream parlour there. Some toilets up there as well. You're getting a good view of a brick wall now. <laughs> this is probably the, not the most scenic part of the route, this bit here. Going back out into the open again. That now, what a nice vista that is, isn't it? Amazing, yeah. Here's an old shelter again. There, look, got some nice old shelters here in a black pool. Yeah, still got the old fence going along the old council concrete fence there to stop you falling down the cliff. Got quite a few walkways going down there as well. There's one there, got a few benches as well. If you fancy watching the sunset. Sandhurst Avenue. Sandhurst Avenue, no one getting up or coming on, so we carry on. On the way to Fleetwood, on the Blackpool Tram. Oh, we're really motoring now. <laughs> You know, I have a friend that used to drive trams and uh, it was going back to the olden days with the old trams, you know, and I'm sure some are up here. He said he got done for speeding by the cops. The cop has stopped him and was wondering, did the cop car pull onto the tram tracks and stop him? I don't know. He told me that story a while back and I wondered how the hell did the cop have stopped him? back in the olden days when you uh, the trams didn't have like limiters on them and cameras telling telling the depot how fast you were going like now and a 
think if you were speeding in the tram now you'd, you'd know about it you know anyway this is Norbrecht of course we'll have the Norbrecht castle behind me the massive Norbrecht castle hotel which you will see on the second part of this video on the way back we're going to Fleetwood at the end of the line from one end to the other a lot of space on this part of the promenade isn't there yeah very popular with dog walkers people walking riding the bikes yeah a little bit quieter than the Golden Mile, of course. The Golden Mile doesn't appeal to everybody. No, right, no. Now it's going to get interesting now because we're going to be pulling away from the, the sea and we're going to be going inland. Outside, so we'll get to see a little bit more. We'll get to see Cleveland. Press the stop We will be pulling away from the sea very shortly and we'll be heading through Cleveland. A bit more like a train journey when we get, get up there. Yeah, there's a lot of space here. Lots of space to walk your dog. There's a little memorial up there. A little rock like a memorial to something. We're just going past Princess, I think it's Princess Way down there. You see that, that down there? That's why they have those speed ramps, which I did a video on. Those very, very harsh speed ramps. That's a new section of promenade, which was all done when they built the sea wall. You still see there's a bit of work going on here. This is United Utilities did a lot of work here on a storm drain, a massive storm drain, and at the same time they built up the seawall to stop flooding. As you can see, there's also a turnaround here for the trams. See that there? The trams can turn around there. Look. I think this is where some of the heritage trams turn around, you know, when they do the little see there, that little turnaround, that loop there. So if you go on a heritage tram, you might have turned around there. Yeah, we're just going past Anchor's Home Park now. This is this is Anchor's Home Park, and this was all sort of redone when they did the Sea Wall. Anchor's Home Park. Bit of an embankment here. down a bit of a dip again now we're coming into Cleveland yeah so that's Anchor's home park just stopping at the traffic lights now that's the first traffic lights we've had to stop at the entrance on this side so now oh look at this now houses yeah look at that see we've pulled away from the sea now anchors home lane okay so we're now whether we're actually in Cleavis yet or whether we have to pass a certain road. Is this an actual border? There's a border. There's a border on the on the promenade. You can see where the border is between Blackpool and Cleveland, but I'm not quite sure where the border is on the, on this looking from this side here there's, there's there is a road but uh, I would probably just call this Cleveland's anyway you know and it you can see now that we're now doing battle with the cars we're now in the middle of the road 
just gone past a petrol station there. Now we've got a little Lidl, little, whatever you want to call it. Track along here. Yeah. It's a, it's a dual carriageway. I actually think that that road down there called Kingsway is the official border. See that street down there that leads to the promenade? I think that that is the official border between Blackpool and Cleveland. So we are now properly in Cleveland. Yeah? This is now Cleveland. We can't help it. Hey, we're all right for superstores here, aren't we? A little and an Aldi, very close together. So this is Cleveland. It's like a telephone exchange down there, I never noticed that before. This is the Crescent West buildings here, Crescent West, ex catalogue store. There's a store there with loads of furniture in it. That looks like a, an interesting place if you want some cheap furniture. Yeah, so this is Victoria Road, Cleveland. Very, very popular road, very busy. Look at that down there. Yeah, you can see my video on that, by the way. I'll put a link to that either at the end or I'll put it in the description if you want to see my video on, on Cleveland, where I take a look down Victoria Road. Quite a few people getting out here Good. at Victoria Road in Cleveland. Champ's gone quiet again now. It was quiet. It was quite noisy, and now it's gone quiet again. It's amazing how it started off really quiet, then got very noisy as we went along the prom promenade of Blackpool, and then got noisy again as we got towards Cleveland, and now it's gone all quiet again. <laughs> So there's a lot of people getting out here at Cleveland. Victoria Road. So there you are, there's the sign there now, it says Cleveland. People like to retire around here to clean this. It's uh, it's very favoured by the older generation. Yeah. Another church here. Look. A lot of the churches are all closed up now. Yeah, the library there, Cleveland, uh, sorry, Cleveland's library. This, this part of Cleveland is, it is uh, quite lively. Lots of shops, there's a fish and chip shop down there, I can see. A Chinese takeaway as well. Shops along here, yeah. Convenience store, another Chinese takeaway there.
Western Gate. So we're now heading through the Thornton area. We will be approaching the Russell area soon where they have the big school, the big private school. Yeah, Russell School. There's a building there which has all been fenced off. They're going to be doing something with that. We're going pretty fast now. Ooh, we're motoring now. So if you fancy a house around here. There's quite a few different types of houses, bungalows, there's some pretty big houses along here actually, if you don't mind being by the main road. So we're now actually at Roswell Beach. Hold tight please. Press the stop button when you wish to exit the tram. Those houses look quite old, don't they? Over there, look at that there, no? Those houses look quite different. Yeah, look at that, look. There's a lot of different types of houses around here. Yeah. I think we're going at top speed now. Hope we don't get stopped for speeding. Ah, uh, we are now coming up on Russell School. Look at this. Founded in 1844, Russell School. Now, it might be a bit difficult to see it because we've got this big hedge in the way. It's a very grand looking private school. And it also has an observatory, an astronomical observatory, yeah? We might just be able to see it now. Or, or some part of it over there, can you see? That's part of Russell School. The main part is round the back. You don't really get a very good view of it from here, I'm afraid. I'll have to probably do a video on that, especially Russell School. But there you go, we've just gone past Russell School, which is a very, very exclusive private school. This is the main entrance just down there now into the school. And like I say, it does have, to me, I'm interested in astronomy and it does have an astronomical observatory. And that building over there, is that new building towards the left, that's part of the, that's the sports centre, that's all new. And these are the sports fields that we can just sort of see the sports field there. Now looking at the brick wall and a fence. <laughs> in some people's back gardens here, so there you go. Well, that summer house could do with a bit of work. That one. And we're off again. We've left Russell, Russell School. The roads up here, you'll notice in Fleetwood, the, the roads are, it's a bit like St. Thomas, the road, some of the roads are really big and wide compared to Blackpool. The roads in Blackpool tend to be quite narrow compared with St. Thomas and, and some parts of Fleetwood as well, but the roads are quite big and wide up, up this end. Sorry about that, we're only just looking at uh, a hedge at the moment, but we will be coming back out into the open again. There's uh, a church there. So what church that is? It's a bit rough along here. This tram is for Fleetwood Ferry. Next stop. Went no bubble over there. All shapes and sizes of houses around here. Fleetwood Cricket and Sports Club. 
Yeah. So that's what we've just gone past. And now we're really coming into Fleetwood now. But we're just brushing these hedges as we go past it. It's gone very dark. Ooh. Oh dear. And here we go again. All oh, those clouds look pretty epic, don't they? Feels like we're on a train now, doesn't it? We're just going past all this greenery here. But we will be coming back out into the open again. Really getting into Fleetwood now. Orchard Drive, that road over there. Robertson Court, block of flats. This road is called Heathfield Road. concrete road there, I can see a concrete surface. You don't get that many roads that are concrete, they tend to tarmac over them, don't they? You can see that's a concrete road there. Press the stop button when you wish to exit the tram. Fleetwood. It's got a population of about 25,000. This is not very much. And the, the, the football club is quite successful as well. Whoop. That was close. There's a girl in the road there. That car should have actually stopped or slowed down or something because uh, rather than just blare past it with the, with the horn. I think he should have slowed down. Yeah. She was, I don't think she was watching where she was going. Press the stop button when you wish to exit the tram. Yeah, so this is Fleetwood. Going past a little estate now. Oh, there's a pub there, the Jolly Sailor. I'm not as well up on Fleetwood as what I am in Blackpool, so I'll let what you see do the talking. Pillfoot Car Centre, Fleetwood Community Fire Station. I think that's the first time I've ever said that, to be honest. Yeah, We're, we're approaching Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's... Fisherman's... This is Radcliffe Road that we're on now. This tram is for Fleetwood Ferry. Next stop, Fisherman's Walk. We're getting very close. I think it's Fisherman's Walk, is it? Fisherman's Walk. That one. It's a major stop here in Fleetwood. This road here is called Nansen Road. It looks like it leads down to a park close to where the football club is. The football club will be down there somewhere. Fleetwood Town FC is based somewhere just down there. They're on High Highbury Road. That's the address of Fleetwood. Oh, sorry, I've just dropped the camera a bit there. <laughs> I went off a bit there, sorry about that. We're now getting very close to the end of the line. Stargate to Fleetwood on the Blackpool tram. Oops, someone's chucked a sofa out the front garden though, but I think that house looks empty. <laughs> these are quite dinky little houses, aren't they? Look at these here. Yeah. It's handy for the barbers anyway. 
Sorry guys, I'm on holiday until Monday 27th of June. So as I film this, it'll be back tomorrow I think. <laughs> Is that the church over there with the green roof? Fancy looking church, isn't it? Yeah, here we are now. It's Fisherman's Walk, yeah. Fisherman's Walk. I wasn't sure if it was Fisherman's Wharf. But there you go, this is a popular stop here in Fleetwood and this is the stop you take if you want to go to Affinity Outlets because this is the closest stop to the former Freeport Outlets which is now called Affinity. This looks like it was an old bank at one time. Can you see that there? I think it's flats now, apartments. Look at that there. On the left there. And now we're getting onto Lord Street now. This is Lord Street in Fleetwood. Yeah, we're now on Lord Street. It's the main street here in Fleetwood. Yeah, Lord Street. Another bank there. It used to be a bank. It's now a restaurant, I think, by the look of it. As you can see the roads are big and wide, the side streets quite big and wide here in Fleetwood. There's another one there that leads towards straight down to the promenade that one and towards the mount I think. This one's called Preston Street this one here. You've got some trees as well. Got quite a few charity shops if you're into charity shops. grand old building there which probably used to be a bank that was London Street Kent Street KFC the book pub and now coming up to a church this one is called St Peter and St David Fleetwood Peter and St David Church here in Fleetwood and we are getting very close to the end of the line and the Fleetwood Ferry all the way from Stargate in the Blackpool this is now North we're on North Albert Street and this is the Victoria Street, Street stop Please. The tram. That building there looks a bit run down. Yes, That's an old looking shop, isn't it? Yeah. It does have quite a unique look about it, Fleetwood. Some of these terraced houses, you know, they're all kind of painted in a, like a white or an off-white. It kind of reminds me of that street in Blackpool, Ashton Road, where all of the houses are painted in that similar colour and they all kind of look the same. Cafe Marina there. Big wide roads, look at this one here, Farros Street. Yeah, there's a lighthouse at the other end of that street, the Farros Lighthouse. Probably see that on the next video on the return journey. Well, we're almost at the end of the line now. We're just coming in now. I can hear the bell going. There's people on the tracks. We're coming to the end of the line. Stargate to Fleetwood, and we're just passing now the North Houston. Hotel. Okay, we're just pulling into the stop now. There's the North Houston Hotel. We're now at the end of the line. We've made it from Stargate all the way to Fleetwood on the Blackpool Tram. I hope you enjoyed this journey. If you do, look out for part two where we'll be going back 
and we'll be going and they'll be looking the other direction so look out for part two don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed we're now here at Fleetwood I hope you enjoyed the ride